Action. Action. <laughs> My grandkids wanted to say action. Hi, baby. It's not recording. Um. Okay, go ahead. You need to take her out. <laughs> Welcome to Large Family Diabetic Cooking. My name is Stephanie. And we're getting ready to make some lunch today. To, uh, we're having Isley's Chip Chopped Ham barbecue sandwiches and some potato chips and some potato salad. Uh, I didn't have time to make it, so they ran over to the store to get some potato salad so we could have it with our lunch. So we're going to get started on cooking the uh, chipped ham. So let me put you up here so you can see what's going on. Alright, let's get this ham in the... And I'm going to make enough that we have leftovers because this is going to cook down. I did wash my hands, just in case you were wondering, because I am, oh, I wash my hands. Anytime I deal with meat, when I start with it and when I end with it, I wash my hands. Okay, I'm gonna get this in here and get it started cooking down. And I forgot to turn the burner on, so I gotta go wash my hands before I even touch the burner. So there's two pounds of meat here, but like I said, or I didn't say, but I'm going to let you know we're a family of seven, so it'll be gone. I normally wear gloves when I am making my meals uh, for um, like my uh, casserole meals. Let's turn this on medium high and get this cooking. And um, but when I wear gloves, the reason why I'm wearing the gloves is because uh, when I'm making my casserole pans, a lot of the dishes, uh, some of the dishes I give away um, to someone who is in need. So, uh, that's why I wear gloves when I'm preparing or dealing with meat. Because I don't want to do any cross-contamination or anything like that. So I try to be careful and I try to be mindful of what I'm doing. So. Alright, let me put my fan on. Hopefully you all enjoyed the, um, the grocery haul that I did yesterday. So this is, this is a kid-friendly meal, and it goes fast. <laughs> so the kids are going to have a handful of potato chips with their, with their meal. The bread I am using, um, I had ordered uh, Texas toast and it did not come uh, in the bread section of Walmart but this came and I don't buy it that often because it's expensive but um, 
This is the Artisano, and everybody loves it, so I may end up continuing to buy that. And then I'm going to use my bread, which is the delightful 45 calories. And this is white bread, and it only has, let me see, the total carbohydrates. Uh, are 18 18 grams which is uh, 9 grams per slice of bread so that's not bad and then um, the grams of sugar dietary fiber is 6 grams which is 3 slices which is um, 3 grams per slice of bread your total sugars is um, one gram and one gram of added sugar. So two grams, so that's not bad. That's very good. And then the protein in here is five grams, but it's two grams per slice of bread. And there is 2% iron in this. There is no potassium. It says zero potassium when you, uh, per slice. But you get 2% iron per slice. So that's not bad. Oh, they use stevia leaf sweetener in their bread. how to make my own bread that is one thing I have not I can make rolls I'll, I'll do rolls for like Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like that but I have not delved into the bread making which I want to do I also want to um, check into there's this new thing out well it's not new um, it's called a Berkey and um, it's for water uh, to for distilled water uh, I mean you can use it, it taps into your water and it makes it uh, drinkable and I'll have to read up more on it and, and talk to you guys about it and if any of you guys have a Berkey uh, please let me know if you like it because I, I priced one on Amazon and it's about 500 and something dollars but to me uh, with the, the crap that they're putting in our water and stuff like that, I think it's worth it. I mean, I'll have to save up for it, and, and that's not a big deal. I'll do that. But um, I want to get one for the kids and for the house and for us, for all of us, actually, because we all drink a lot of water. And I'd rather the family have something healthy. I'm also going to try and get a P.O. box. So that way. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, you can send them on YouTube. Make sure you hit like, share, and subscribe and send it out. Um, the main reason why I do this is because one, I'm a diabetic. I am a type two diabetic. Um, I try to watch what I eat and everything is all in moderation. I'm not an uncontrolled diabetic, but um, if any of you are an uncontrolled diabetic, everything's in moderation. And if you haven't seen a nutritionist, talk to your PCP. Tell them to, that you need to see a nutritionist and another person you need to see is an, um, what do they call it? Uh, where they help you with the, to maintain your blood sugars, your kidney level, all that kind of stuff. Your doctor can only do so much. All he can do is do the blood tests and stuff like that. And if anything's elevated, he sends you to a specialist. So, um, I think it's an endocrinologist. Yes, it's an endocrinologist. 
the, uh, that's where you need to go. Because they check everything. They help you with your sugar. They help keep your sugar in control. If you start having any spikes or anything like that, they help you with that also. There's, uh, Sunday, we're going to, um, I'm going to try and do it as early as possible. We're going to make some appetizers for the game. My daughter is, um, because it's uh, Kansas City Chief and Philadelphia Eagles. So, we are rooting for the Eagles. But um, we are, I'm going to be making some appetizers, and that's what we're going to do on Sunday. We're going to make appetizers. I'm going to try and do it like two to three hours before the game starts. I should be able to have everything done before then. So, all right, and this is starting to... down some now. And it's pulling the water out, which I want it to do. It's pulling the water out of the ham. Now I have hiccups from drinking the water. <laughs> got my granddaughter's birthday gifts. They're wrapped in, in my room. Uh, I told you guys about the banner that I got. I can't wait to put that up. Um, I'm also going to, I'm getting a uh, 24 muffin tin. It's, um, I found it on Amazon for like $20. And I'm getting some cupcake liners. Uh, I also need to get some piping bags and some uh, thing. I used to have them and I have no idea where they went. But in the process of moving, they either got pitched or lost. So I need to get some more piping bags and like the little star tips and stuff, my tips. I need to get some more of those. I'll check on uh, Amazon. Uh, I want to get everything through Wilton. And I need food coloring so that I can make the, uh, the uh, unicorn icing. And um, I also want to, uh, there's a recipe for gum paste. I need to make some gum paste for the unicorn ears and the and the horns and the horn that's going to go on the cupcakes need to get some of that uh, edible glitter and edible gold uh, dusting. Now they say you can put, when you put the, the dusting on the unicorn horn, you can use uh, vodka to do that. But 
I'm not comfortable with that. I mean, I know the vodka, it evaporates after it sits for like 10, 15 minutes, it evaporates and there's no alcohol because you're using a very tiny amount. But when you're serving it to kids, I'm not comfortable with that. I'll use water. But you guys will all come along for the ride when we prepare the girls' birthday party. some more of this water out. We need it to really cook down. Pretty good there. Because you saw how piled up this pan was and it cooked down fast. So now, I normally make my own barbecue sauce. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let me wash my hands. Um, but uh, I ran out of my homemade. So we're going to be using Sweet Baby Ray's. get our barbecue sauce in and we'll see if this will be enough it should be I think I need to use a different Anybody who is a diabetic, make sure you check your sugar after you eat because there is 17 grams of sugar in this and 16 grams of added sugar. No, that says total sugars. Yeah, total sugars is 17 grams and added sugars is 16 grams. So... I'm wondering if the 16 grams and then the total sugar is one gram and that's what makes it the total sugars is 17 grams. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but uh, make sure you check your sugar.
stir it up. I shouldn't need any more barbecue sauce because I pulled out two just in case. But um, if anybody wants any more barbecue sauce on their sandwich, they can put some on their sandwich and then sprinkle some more from the other can or other container. But I think this will be just fine. I need to turn this down now because I don't want it to burn. But that's what it looks like. kids out of, the, <laughs> out of the living room because I'm recording. Make a mess that cleaned up. I try not to make a mess because y'all know my motto. One thing I don't like is a dirty kitchen. She's all set. <laughs> her little plate, her little fork, her little cup, and her little purple fork. We don't have Izzy till Sunday, so she's with her dad. So I want to get the boys' plates. because I need this barbecue sauce to caramelize a little bit. That's what makes the sandwich taste really easy. Is when the barbecue sauce caramelizes.
chips and potatoes, potato, potato chips and a sandwich. Yeah, and I got this for Katie. Anyways, so. All right, I have, I'm recording, so. Um, all right. Well, they won't be getting potato salad. They'll get a sandwich and some chips. And I have some fruit. They can have some uh, mandarin oranges. I'll give them a, all uh, some mandarin oranges and they can have that. I wanted to give them something, but every time we go to the store, I think we're going to get everything we need. They're either out of it or they don't, um, or they're running out of it. So. All right, let me get sandwiches and everything fixed and plated up, and then I will show you the end result. the boys and I gotta get the juice out of this one for for Mamie because she'll have it everywhere. <laughs> so let's get down here and plate up. one slice of bread from me and I'll just cut it in half. Because with her little body, she can only eat so much. So, I'm going to fix her sandwich first. Let me use this. She likes it because she's been real picky about her food more recently. Her. <clears throat> and then let me 
go dump the juice off of this. And she's done. Now I'm going to fix my boys' plates. We can have her. Yeah. Uh, they have Capri Suns that they will be drinking with, with their lunch. Let me get a fresh plate. sandwiches in half because they're boys. You're not supposed to cut their sandwich in half is what they told me. They're men. They don't need their sandwiches cut in half. chips and they'll have their fruit and their Capri Sun and this is what's for lunch today barbecue chip chopped ham sandwiches some mandarin oranges and a Capri Sun and some potato chips It's very rare that you guys get to see a finished product. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> so um, thank you again for joining me. I'm Stephanie with Large Family Diabetic Cooking. And today for lunch is Isley's Chip Chopped Ham, barbecue sandwiches, and some chips and some fruit. Thank you, along. thank you guys for coming along for the ride. I appreciate it all. Again, my name is Stephanie. With Large Family Diabetic Cooking, make sure you hit like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification button so that way you can be notified any and every time I upload um, a video. So, thanks again, and I will see you guys later.